fish. Good day and welcome to today's vlog. Bit of a sad start to the day. There's a, well, it's a good and bad start. I'm changing apartments. I'm leaving the jungle right here. I am. It's been an interesting little stay in the sun house. But the apartment back in Camilla Beach, come on, has become available. Ah, oh, man. Now I've got a bit of a problem. <laughs> It's okay, you keep it, you keep it, okay. Cup on cap. Yes, okay. Yeah, there, there, cup on, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, cheers darling, thank you. I've got a problem. I, don't, I didn't think you liked the stick, but... Oh, man. When I first arrived, I heard this whining. But this, uh, anyway, look, come here, where are you? Well, he's a bit, he's gone all shy. This is the ginger minge. Hey, ginger minge. <laughs> oh man, I made a bad decision. So that I now have a very urgent appeal for, come here. Come on, put you on the table, ginger minge. This is the ginger minge. And because I started giving him a bit of fried chicken, wait, where are you going? A little bit of milk, he became quite friendly. And so now, he's, oh, he's purring away, you're purring away, Ginger Minge. Where are you going? <laughs> he's a very affectionate little cat, but he needs a home. Come here. <laughs> Come here. I think he wants to get in the shade. Come here. Oh, there he is. So if you want a little cat crawling about your legs, oh, man. he lives just at the side of the house. <laughs> oh, see, when I'm off today, I don't know what's going to happen to him. I don't want him to starve or go hungry. So if there's somebody in who cat who wants a little ginger minge, he's cute. Look how cute he is, man. Get in contact and I'll come and show you where he's staying. And here's look, he's got a big old, big old pair of kahunas on him. There you ginger minge. So, <laughs> oh, so where are you off to, mate? Oh, he is. He's just laying in the sun and the shadows. Look. So today's vlog is is an urgent appeal for the ginger minge. Someone must want a little affectionate cat. He just likes laying in the shade. He likes southern fried chicken. And he's also partial to a little bit of skimmed milk, but not too much. Right, I'm now moving out, back, back to the ranch at the pond. Happy days, I've been here two weeks by the way. I was just chilling, relaxing and catching up on what I, what I aim to do and I'm more or less there, so everything's really good. Everything's really good. Oh man, and the sun is back out. We have had a few days of rain, but the, uh, that's all gone. We've got sunny days here. Oh man, I just need <laughs> a home for the ginger minge. Right, mate. Ta da! Right. Right. <laughs> oh, look at his tummy tickle. Ah, oh, little terror. Little terror, look. How can you not want a little terror of a cat? A ginger minge. Wow. <laughs> Awesome, ginger minge. <laughs> wow, get you, mate, get you. Right. today's vlog <laughs> now I'm a bit disappointed because as you can probably tell I am at the Caron Qatar bed bath and beyond I have I have 
And I am disappointed because breakfast finished at 10 o'clock. And as I pulled up, it's just turned 10 o'clock. Oh, wicked spot. Been around here before though, a few times. <laughs> But it's a, it is a cool spot, even the security guard put his thumb up to me when, when I pulled in on the machine, on my horse, he did! Oh, hello mate! Oh. So today's vlog is the heat wave of Phuket! Yes Phuket! <laughs> if you go on the news stations or have a little look, everybody will be telling you that Phuket is now going to have a torrential storm! No, don't listen to the news, listen to Mr. King. <laughs> I'll keep you right, I will, I'll always keep you right. Does it look like we're having a storm? Day two of the heat wave. And my fact that 50 is having a hard job holding up to the battering of this sun. It is, it is hot, hot, hot. Ah, oh, I feel good, not vlogged properly. <laughs> Just looking about, make sure no one's looking at me and might feel a bit silly. I haven't vlogged for a few days. Actually, the vlogs that I have tried to make, I don't know if I've finished them. I don't even know if the vlog you've watched yesterday was an amalgamation of me trying to make a vlog and not really getting too far. I don't know, I've not watched the playback. I just, I just put the stuff out there. And um, I'll soon find out whether it's a load of rubbish or not. Oh, man. So where I am at Qatar, Caron, and it is wicked. Look, you're telling me there's a bad moon rising. Oh man, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful weather, and the, the tide is out, and the time to be in Phuket is right now, without a doubt. But I'm not going to go off and see Richie to see how fuff f exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark is that lizard but the places are empty now I normally start at Kamala uh, uh, but now if I'll get out today and have an early breakfast then I'll carry on the vlog on the way back but we are having a heat wave guys and it's definitely the time to be in Phuket right now it's just wicked looking back Beaches are virtually empty compared to how these were six to eight weeks ago. This beach was absolutely packed. But not anymore. It is empty. And the weather is awesome. So, I did me on a clip I made the other day. I actually, I forgot to include it. It's just getting, so I'm gonna include it next. I met David Brent from the office and his mate who do the voiceover. Uh, they've actually, quite surprising, been watching my channel. <laughs> so I've met them. Um, so I'll introduce, oh, sorry, I'll edit that clip in right now. And then after that, oh, you'll catch me at Richie's having some breakfast, searching for a big lizard. Good day. Hello. And welcome to what could be today's vlog. <laughs> Might not. Might just end up in the bin with all the other vlogs I haven't made or finished. I start, but then do not carry on. So will I vlog today? Or will I end up on my balcony drinking Leo? and getting wasted just like I have done 
for the last five days. Life is too good. It is. It's really good. Don't feel the need to come out and vlog. Don't feel any need to express myself at all. No. I feel like I'm on holiday. Just chilling, relaxing. Now Camelot a few weeks ago was absolutely packed as was this island, but not now. Now it is empty. And perhaps the best time to be here on holiday is right now. I don't know. I don't want to do anything. Usually I'm full of, I want to get out and explore an adventure. But no. Since I've been back from Bali, I haven't wanted to go and do anything at all. Just sit outside the pond, drink beer, sit in the sun, go home and get wasted. But it definitely is a different place. You can hear how quiet it is. Good day. Yes. You all right? You're not live now, are you? Oh, I'm one of your fans. Oh, I'm never live. Oh, are but you? I am making a vlog. Oh, sorry for interrupting you, right? you Anna. Yes, you mate. Good? Thanks. Very good. You Thanks, good? John. Thank yeah, you. Good, My name's Stuart. Stuart. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, this Rich. Is Rich. And Rich. Yeah. Stuart right. and Rich yeah. from the good UK. Man. Oh, you are English. Yeah, yeah. Good day. Oh, good. Good day. Welcome. Hello. To today's vlog. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. You got a bit of energy in the vlog. <laughs> I was just saying how I don't really want to do anything. Well, you've been travelling somewhere else, haven't you, for a bit? I know, Bali. So I'm back here just chilling. Good mate. How's yeah, it? we're down the bottom end at the Nova Cell. Okay. Yeah, we've not been in the. Um, Club yet, you haven't. No more, you, no. you have We've not. Passed a couple of times. Does it get busy at night? Very busy. It, dude, yeah. I've been told that's the yeah. place to go and smoke yeah. the shish. Yeah. In there. Yeah. Meet us later. Lots of Arabian yeah. ladies in yeah. there lounging oh, about. Mate, multicultural. Yeah. It's, it everybody's is. welcome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looks great. There. I've got a few. I was in Cuba a couple of weeks ago. All oh, right. So I've got a couple of cigars. Okay. So we're going to spend yes. an evening in there, chilling. In cafe. Yeah, that's right. Cafe Damar. That's the one. That's yeah. The one. Sure. Get your beer in if you want. Okay. We'll let, okay. We'll let you finish your vlog. <laughs> I'm, that's why I'm not coming to sit there and have my beer because I don't know how much more of the vlog I'm going to make today because there's a, there's a shop over there that I'm going to visit that sells combustible materials that I like. So I'm going there in a minute. Sad. But um, I'm at, what do you, this time of year being here, yeah. well, I was just making today's vlog is it's, it's like being on proper holiday. I really it like is, it. Yeah. I think it's oh, it's just Rich a lot better. A relaxed vibe. Much more relaxed vibe yeah. than, than full on. Because he's been um, he's been all over Thailand before, yes. so he's done all the trips, all the travelling, you know, the Buddhas, the yes, temples, yes. all that. Just, been on the nights out. Yes. He said years and years ago he was in Patong night after night after night. Would, yes, yes. And it took it out of him. Yeah, like, it will. Even then. So, yeah, I know. It right takes now, it out of me, man. We were there the other night for his birthday. Okay. Which was good. Yes. Had a, an hour or so in Illusion, the club. Right. Mate, that's good. Have you been in there recently? No, not for an hour. Oh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> not for an hour? No, mate. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, you've done well, mate. It lasts an hour. Yeah. And that is really well. Oh, cool. Right. Um, I'm going to come in there and have a beer. And then I'll be off to show you show you how quiet Phuket is right now. And it is. It's, it's the end of the hot season. And now is the time to be here. Everything's a lot cheaper. It's a lot more chilled and relaxed. Even me, I'm on holiday. And I like it. On my way to breakfast, which is the cut through from Qatar, Qatar at the junction to get to the main road where I turn right to go up to Richie Mabel's coffee garden. This is that street, Prosperity Street. Right here, where the house right there is now up for rent again. But that's not where I stopped. This house right here is up for rent. One bedroom, one living room, one kitchen, and it is 8,000 a month. And there is a phone number. That place, 
And if you want to know where it is, it is right by the abandoned <laughs> resort right there, of which I cannot go in because the people that rent this business here tells me there are security guards who live in there. That's been abandoned for 10 years, by the way. And I'd really like to get in there. <laughs> Maybe if I rented this place for a month, right there, for 8,000 baht, that's just 200 pounds, British pounds sterling. You could have six months here. <laughs> Wicked, the big Buddha is right there, look, the big white Buddha. Right there, if you know where I am. And this is Prosperity Street, which has now been fully asphalted and the curbs have actually all been painted. It's really good. It is really good to see constant development in Phuket. However, I want to get in that abandonment. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll, I'll find a way. So cool and peaceful here. <laughs> it is. <clears throat> it's one of them places, I had it in Bali, going to the Santorini restaurant or going to the Bacchus bar. I have it at the pond wherever I go and I have it here also <laughs> at the Mary Bell's Coffee Garden because once I've been here, it's cool, it's soothing and relaxing even though there is a road right here. You don't feel like doing any vlogs anymore, you just feel like just chilling out, drinking pots of tea, having fruit shakes, and just, oh man, it's just, it's, it's, it's what that kind of place is. So I hope you like my David Brent clip. I have tried to wear the same clothes as I had on that day, but the, uh, the glasses keep breaking. <laughs> so, and I can't remember how long ago that was now, but it was like the last two weeks, seems like two days but I've just been enjoying myself chilling out and that's what I'm doing right now oh man and the lovely sound and the view of Big Buddha don't get much better than here you just hear the noise of the kitchen but in there and also this wall has been built all along here these buildings I mean what a wicked area to live they're gonna put a billboard up here I think and then build two more plots just there but and look at the sky where there's a bit of cloud but there's lovely 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 hot oh, blue sky <laughs> so how big was that lizard you big lizard massive <laughs> yeah it was that big it was about four it's inches long tried on it that's why it scared the shit out of me <laughs> oh but it is here quite a few lizards around here lately yeah, no, there's usually, there's lizards everywhere, mate. In the na natural, yeah, yeah. natural environment of the coffee garden. Oh, man, it's just so cool. So cool. Where are you going today? Um, that's it, mate. I don't want to do nothing. I just, just, just saying I'll come out. I don't want to do nothing anymore. That is it. Well, from your happy ending, aren't you? Uh, I've, got, I've got to do something. 11am. That's all it is, mate. But 11 thirsty isn't far away. So I may, I may make it back to the pond for 11.30. If I hammer it, we'll see how we go. Anyway, oh, what a lovely day. Heat wave, Phuket. Okay, such a good breakfast. Good start to the day. I'm now on my descent back to Kamala. Uh, so I'm starting to get thirsty. And I thought I'd come. I haven't been up to this part of Caron for a, about a year. I just want to see what it looks like now. Obviously, most of the wood has been cleared up from last winter. There is good surf. And that sea that's coming in is really good. It's really clean. It's quite good to see. And the cloud, that's where the weather's coming from, from that direction. And it's pretty good. It is pretty good. I started my blog right down there. If you can see right at the other end of the beach, the building complex right there, man. Whoa. Hot. It's proper hot. 
today's vlog is it's not about saving the ginger minch no oh man it's not about david brent no it is not it is about this heat wave which i believe i'm the only person reporting on the heat wave <laughs> everyone else is saying don't go outside lock your children up batten down your hatches close your windows lock your doors and don't let your children out i think oh mate will i will i die you sure Oh, I've seen somebody die from one of these things. You Paragliding. Win. I see a guy Over fall. Not can't... this one? Run here. Yeah, this shirt on this beach on here. Yeah. He yeah. fall, he died. That was Batong. Caron Beach. Caron Beach, not Batong. Yes. Okay. Still, it's, it's put me off, mate. You call it in Zaka? Yeah, I don't want to, mate. No, no. <laughs> not for me, man. Are you. Are you. Fine? I've got this. Coconut, it's for the coconuts. <laughs> coconuts. <laughs> coconut. Yes. Okay. And you guys are you, you rent the jet skis as well, right? Yeah. So is your season finished now? Season over? Over, over. Over. Big big money gone. Yeah, did did yeah. did you earn enough money? Yeah, not enough. Yeah, not enough. Yeah. Okay. Where you come from? England. Sorry cap. Sorry cap, buddy. Have a good day. Oh man, beach rules. There's one here you have to take note of. Look, whatever you do, don't drive drunk. Okay? It's all right to have a little drinky winky. Maybe go and have a big old spliffy whiffy. But whatever you do, do not drive drunk. Five to 20,000 baht fine. Ah, oh, okay. Just so you know, it's one year imprisonment. Not exceeding one year or fine 5,000 to 25,000 baht or in fact both. So, don't drive drunk. How are you buddy, you good? good. Do you drive drunk? Yeah, no, good. You do? Good. He's rich. <laughs> uh, that's not what I came on the beach for. I wanted to come on the beach for and say now, like I say, it is awesome. There is a heat wave and you've probably got less chance of getting scammed by the jet ski guys. <laughs> Probably. I just don't know. It's a lovely day. Heat wave. Phuket. It is. I just saw, I oh know that was the clock. I thought it was the temperature. This is proper hot. Damn. So, yeah, so I just done a little wander, having a little look. See if I'm going to get arrested by the police or I think I'm all right. Where'd I put the horse? The horse is there. So I should be able to get in and get out. And look, even the road along Batong, usually it's chock a block in both lanes, but no, it's all right. It's drivable. It is, look. It is usually chock a block with people trying to get in front bit crazy but not today not now that is reasonable the roads are empty wicked <laughs> happy ending at the pond now so I sit here there's an incident going on right there and I don't know if the camera will pick it up I will tell you, for the last few days, there's been a bit of an idiot up and down this street. And yesterday, no, the day before yesterday, what was the guy's name, the Aussie guy who took the guy down? Do you yes. remember his name? I don't know his name. You can't remember his name? Oh, how come? He a name Casey Man. Yes. <laughs> anyway, the police had to come and take someone away. And he, he, he's out. He's a, he's, he, I don't know if you can see him. But there's a policeman right here, right now, who's on the phone to his mates for a bit of backup because they want to take him down. Um, I'll show you. Keep my seat, won't you, darling? Look. So, 
So you have, aka, the police, right here. You have a Thai guy trying to talk this guy down here in the blue. He's probably had far too much to drink and he has been smoking joints up and down the Camilla Beach. Which you shouldn't really do, especially when you're on holiday. No, no, so it's a bit of a standoff next door. Staff have asked me to knock him out, but I thought, no, I cannot get involved. So I'll sit here until the police turn up and, and see what happens next. It's entertaining, you know. Here comes another policeman. <laughs> well, he's off that way. I don't know if they're going to run after him. He's got his rucksack. <laughs> it's like, it's like, hang on, it's like live news, this. They're sent the young coppers down. They're probably going to be a bit nervous. They ain't carrying guns. So they're probably going to be a bit nervous about taking the guy down. Another cop has come on his moped. Look, look, this is what is happening on Camilla Beach right now. This guy here is causing <laughs> everyone issues. And the police, they don't really want to take him down or arrest him. But it would be for the better for everybody. So uh, the guy in the blue. It's gone off in there now. So there's now. <laughs> I think he's got his bottle of Chang. So keep an eye on him. That copper on the bike is a cool, cool copper. He's all right. I don't know if it's going to be a bit of real news live. Well, about three days old. I'll tell you what, it's been really hot today. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned the heat wave of Phuket. There's four policemen there now. He's wandering away now. <laughs> I don't know what he's all about. He's been drinking whiskey, chang, smoking joints on the beach for the last few days. There's a bit of an audience now occurring over, over here. As he may have vacated. He has. This has been <laughs> Camilla News, live to you from the pond. <laughs> oh man, it's wicked here though, even though, even though when there's a bit of, it's not a trouble as such, it's somewhat being a pain, but it's been taken care of in a decent manner. <laughs> sort of. I was hoping there was got to be a big takedown on the pavement and I'd get some like front page news but unfortunately no unless of course the action takes place on the road <laughs> oh, man if I was a real reporter I'd now be on the road wouldn't I chasing him down trying to get his in here's, here's my buddy here we get we get we get the latest bit of story. You see the guy there again. That's your mate. I know. Your he's country your mate. It's he's your, your mate. He's a geezer no. like you. But it, this is the man who took him down the other day in true fashion and saved 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 Camelot. Safe judo technique. Yes. <laughs> Not tonight. I'm watching. She's good. He's just watching tonight. No. And I thought you you might like, might, might, you, I might, get you might need to put your camera out or do it one-handed with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what another, eh? Yes. 
Yes, but they, mate, they, 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 they're keeping well away from him, though. Oh, yeah. They, I know. No, they don't want to... Uh, That's what I mean. It was the same the other night. They don't want to get involved with us. It's <laughs> like, what, are we all going to chuck what? in, pitch in and pay the cops? <laughs> a couple of grand? Oh, no, man. What's your name, buddy? Sorry. Brendan. 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 Brendan Sean. There you go. There you go. And you're on the blow. Today's oh, blow. Cool, man. Nice. Heat wave. Oh, oh, good. oh man, good. Well, that wraps up our vlog. The news, the story's over, mate. He's gone. The police are gone, and we have yesterday's saviour of Kamala. And today, that's much the same. So, cheers. Appreciate you watching. Till next time. Au revoir.